Good morning, women developed. How are you doing today? I speak abundant living and prosperity over your life. Thank you so much for joining me live or on the replay. I want to talk to you about your today because it truly matters for your tomorrow. Sometimes we try to ready ourselves when the day comes, but how many of you know if you try to wait, you're going to miss out on something or you may fumble, you may fall, and you just may not necessarily see the maximum amount of success or results that you desire to see. So you will always hear me say something like you cannot take any shortcuts. There are no shortcuts in life, right? You have to go through the process. But your today, it actually matters for your tomorrow. Those prayers that you are praying, they matter. Not only do they matter for your life, but it can matter for somebody else's life. So look at your today and see what can you do on today? How can you prepare yourself for your tomorrow? How can you ready yourself for where God is taking you? I talked about four ways to prepare for greater, right? We always want greater, but preparation is so key. And this is something that I kind of, you know, talk about on a daily basis because sometimes we let the day just pass us by and we say, we'll do it tomorrow or we'll do it next week. And we think we have the time to do it. But whenever that thought comes into your mind, I want to say, stop. So I'm going to challenge you today when, when you know that you ought to do something and you have that thought to say, I'll wait till later or I'll wait till tomorrow. Stop. I want you to see the stop sign just before you stop because today matters for your tomorrow. What you will experience today will help you on your journey. Sometimes it can be an attitude adjustment. Stop, right? It can be someone have popped into your mind. Stop. Say a prayer for them. Call them up. Hey, if someone, I like to say nowadays, if someone really just drops in, in into your mind or into your spirit, stop. Shoot them a text. Pick up a phone. If you can't call them, then I'll say shoot them a text. But if you are in a position that you're able to call them, you know, pick up the phone. Today matters for your tomorrow or somebody else's tomorrow. Let us be accountable for our today. And when we're accountable for our today, we will start to change some of the regimens or some of the habits that we have, right? I know for myself, my husband, he'll always say the way you end the day is the way you start it. Whenever he will get into our vehicle, he's like, babe, really? You didn't get any gas? <laughs> why, why are we on E? Why didn't you get the gas today? Because it's affecting us now when we get in the vehicle and we have to travel or do something. My yesterday which would, let's just say today, my today will matter for my tomorrow. So if I can do something in my day today, let's get it done. So I'm going to challenge you today to focus on many things within your life that you normally put on hold and you say, I'll do it next week. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it, you know, when I get a chance. But how many of you know when we start putting things off, they pile up? And then when they pile up, they become very overwhelming to us to a point that we don't even get them done. So I want to challenge you to stop putting off tomorrow. We know the saying, don't put off tomorrow, what you can very well do today, right? Because tomorrow you may have a list of things that you need to do and what you have taken from today to put into your tomorrow may not have room to fit, right? You may not be able to fit what you desire to do tomorrow, which should have been very well done today. It will never get done. So my challenge to you, is to take your matters today, handle them today, and then allow tomorrow, as the word of God says, right? Don't worry about tomorrow for it'll take care of itself, but let's focus on the matters of today because I'm telling you, those matters today will affect your tomorrow, okay? So don't take your stuff from today into your tomorrow, but let it help your tomorrow, if that makes sense to you all, because I know that I was in a position once and I said, everything that I have on my plate, sometimes it seems overwhelming. Sometimes it seems overbearing. But then when I really stepped back and I took an assessment, I started seeing how a lot of the things that I was supposed to do today were from another day. So sometimes you just have to stop, as I stated, stop, handle those small things that you can handle and then keep it moving. Don't allow them to compile because that's where you become frustrated that's when you start feeling like, you know what, you don't have what it takes. And it starts to play with your mind. 
but you have the power, you have the authority to command things within your day to get done in the efficiency that it can get done. So don't let life you know, happen to you and take over uh, all of your time, but manage your time so that you can do the things that you need to do in today so that it can help your tomorrow. So I hope that I have blessed you in some way that this nugget, this tip can truly help you, but I challenge you to stop and handle the things today so that they can help your tomorrow. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.